Welcome back guys, here's episode 2 of Doom 2. And we are starting with a switch, and a backpack, and a super shotgun. This is dead simple. It's a very infamous map. All you gotta do is kill these make you buy. That hurt. I could die here. Let's lower the megasphere and make sure that doesn't happen. Ooh, that really could have killed me. Now we don't want to mess around with these guys because dodging projectiles is hard with partial invisibility on. Oh, before we forget, let's actually lower these guys. Because their weapons are useful. For the second phase of this fight. Here we go, phase two. Another new enemy, the Arachnotron. Fairly weak, but also extremely deadly. Don't let him hit you too much. I mean, just look at all the damage I'm taking here. Alright, let's get out the super shoddy. I'm just glad I'm not partly invisible here. They take three super shotguns, or three rockets, typically to kill. If you're lucky, you can get them in two rockets. I don't think it's possible with two super shotgun blasts, though. They are very easy to stunlock and kill, as you can see. Pretty much every time I shoot them, they stop shooting, which allows me to kind of juke them out. There we go. Wish there- oh, there is a chain gun. Let's get the chain gun then. And I'll show you the stun locking capabilities. And the berserk, why not? So now he pretty much isn't going to shoot me. And there we go, that's dead simple. And that was a secret. I believe that's for compatibility reasons. Some versions of Doom don't handle no secrets very well. So they put a secret in. Nice of them, I guess. There we go. This is level six. No, map eight. And it's my favorite map in Doom 2. Just a really interesting concept here. It's basically a series of mini challenges that build on each other, slightly. There's very little organization here. It's mostly just go at your own pace. So, maybe we'll start with the imp room. Here it is. You get some shells and a shotgun, and face off against all these imps. And they teleport behind you, so be careful. Oh, that was deadly. I'm probably gonna die now. Eh, maybe not. Alright, we can walk up to the wall there to exit. Oops, we forgot to hit the switch. That's how you get out of here. Alright, let's next go into the pinky room. With a lot of pinkies. That's about all that's notable about this area though. Alright, we did pretty well. Although we are very low on health, that's dangerous. Let's see, where to next? How about this room with the cyber demon? Actually, that's a terrible idea. Make sure the door fully closes before you shoot, by the way. Otherwise, all those barons in there will wake up. Let's handle this baron. Oh, and a caco demon. Don't worry about 
about the Baron, he actually teleports behind you, which is very kind of him. And there we go. Not a terribly hard fight, but definitely not easy. Alright, let's go for the Caco Demon Room. Get ourselves a plasma rifle and some ammo. But we don't want the ammo for the plasma rifle now, do we? That'd be a waste. Let's use it for the BFG instead. Let's lure them out. Gigantic line of pinky. Just pink flesh. Hey, you're blocking me. There we are. Let's collect them all back in here. Get the best bank for our buck here. wasn't bad at all. We're looking good so far. Tons of backpacks in here. Just tons. And look how many BFG shots we have now. Six. Incredible. We'll use one of them on the Kako Demons. the rest will get shotgun. Wow, triple kill. Kind of. That BFG shot was kind of a waste, I think. It's okay, though. There are plenty more where it came from. Alright, we've already cleared this room, so let's move on to the Cyber Demon room. Not just Barons, there's also a Cyber Demon. So the Cyber Demon usually loses here. It's definitely fun to watch though. He's actually doing very well. I'm kind of in danger actually. Oh no, we're good, we're good. He might win. That would be pretty incredible. I've never seen the Cyber Demon win. Yeah, no. I knew he was almost dead. I had a reason to believe. Good stuff. We are doing very, very well. Now, let's deal with the pain room. All right, what to do next? Let's go this way. Shoot that. Not because of the pain elemental, but because of the chain gun.
Yeah, they deserved it. We're not done with this area yet. We'll grab ourselves a secret. And some nice ammo. That's another BFG shot. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be involved with that anymore. Alright, let's grab ourselves yet another BFG shot. And kill some stuff. There we go. Very nicely played. We are done. Man, this level's hard. There we go. Map 8. Here's map 9, the pit. Luckily, we start with mega armor, and we're gonna need every single point. This map is fairly tight on health and ammo. Especially for the hordes of enemies that they throw at you. And especially pain elements. So many pain elements. Let's access the shells and some berserk. Very good to have. Next, let's tackle the pain elementals. The first pair of them, of many. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh no, I woke up both of them. Shield me. Okay, okay, okay. Not good, but not terrible. First of all, we've survived. Second of all, these lost souls are not really threatening. Because we have Berserk. Okay. We should keep it cool. Now we'll punch. Let's activate this mini trap by collecting the rocket launcher. I did not mean to fire the rocket launcher there, but it's okay. We're gonna skip a trigger that activates a lot of chain gunners so that we can shoot the rocket launcher at them. Ammo, very good. Alright, and we're fairly good on health. Not good on armor, though. That's okay. We're gonna pick up green armor in a bit. Let's go for the Mancubus area now. Area. But first, let's activate a third Mancubus. There we go. Just to make it a little more interesting. And that it does. Ow. 
Ouch, that hurt a lot. Stop shooting me. Alright, we're not doing great on health. I'll be honest. Didn't know there was an imp there. That makes the situation a little bit worse. Let's conserve ammo by punching. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Oh no. I could die now. Will you die? Okay. Let's use shells on these guys. We're not we're not stupid. Get some more health. Just a tiny amount. Kill the lost soul in one hit, which is what I want. Okay, stim pack is good. Let's get berserk. You know what? We'll save it. For now. There we go. Look at that. Minimal lost souls. From two pain elementals. Just two lost souls? Awesome. Alrighty, that fight's done. Let's shoot our final rocket at this Hell Knight. Wherever he is. There we go. Okay, now let's grab the blue key and some armor, because we need it. We'll have 100 health and armor now. Great. Plenty of bullets to go around. Now we have to go for the yellow key. And this has a lot more pain elementals for us, which is great. So let's first wake up some. friend. Let's get our fist out. Two of them. Not good. Yeah, that was probably a waste, but it's okay. door to close before we shoot anything. Necessary here. And let's continue.
Yikes. Okay, we're pretty low on health. That's okay, though. At least partially okay. Because the Lost Souls are dead. The Shotgunners up there are dead. And now we can just focus on platforming. And there we go. Mega, Mega Sphere, basically. That's effectively what that is. It'll put you at 200 health and armor no matter what percent you are at before. So I call that what it is. Alright, let's rocket these pain elementals. Because you know there are pain elementals in here. Very good. Got some good damage rolls on the rockets there, which is lucky. Okay. Wow, we're doing really well. Okay. Let's grab this, and this, and some of these. Alright. We lost some health there, but, most importantly, we gained a backpack. section. Yes, more pinkies. Even more. We have another rocket. We'll use it well. That opens the door, and this reveals more imps. Yikes, okay. That's fine, mostly. Okay, they're dead. Awesome. We're done with this area. Yes, okay. Now we're into the final stretch. We have three BFG shots. No, four. Awesome, okay. So we can just kind of spam BFG and win. Let's start by spamming on these guys. And let's switch sides because there are Makuba here. And we're done! Look at that. Map 9. This took me way too many tries. Thank god we're done. Really, really incredibly made map. It's just hard as nails. And I love that. Here's map 10. It's a refueling base. We're gonna start off by grabbing this non-seeker shotgun and shooting some imps and hit scanners. There's also a pain element on the back there. So we're gonna have to lure him out here by, by staying on this side. It's almost there, all right. Let's shoot him up close and personal. And I tried to block him into the corner there so that he wouldn't spawn any lost souls, but Unfortunately, he had to. Let's collect some health, and for some reason, we've woken up the hit scanners in here. I'm not really sure what the cause of that is, but it does happen sometimes. Oh well. Hopefully, no more wake up. Oh, there are some more. I made it, might have woken up some more by peering around the corner there. Yep. Alright, this uh, vine 
Spectre's pillar can be lowered for some Spectres and the Chain Gun. Chain Gun's pretty much essential for this level in my opinion. There we go. And let's check on the hit scanners. Looks like we're clear actually. Let's go ahead and kill our first pair of pain elementals over here. reopen that thing because it has some goodies in it. Specifically bullets. Which we will need lots of. Because there are two more pain elementals where they came from. Let's ignore the armor bonuses until we've got the armor. Alright, now we can fight the second pain elemental trap by triggering that line death there. Dodge the imp fireballs. Alright. Oh, and he spawned no lost souls. Very good. And once again, let's reopen the room and collect some stuff. There we go. And the final two of these little tanks here in the middle of the map have hit scanners in them. Lots and lots of hit scan. Let's not collect that rad suit that's in there yet, because we are going to need it for later. There's a megasphere in this level that requires it pretty much. Otherwise you lose mouth. More hit scanners from the hit scanner room. I'm losing lots of health here. It almost might be worth it to just go through the hit scanner room, but let's continue with the plan. Alright, revenants and arachnotrons in here. I'm going to shoot to wake up the ones in the back. Here they are. Usually the Arachnotrons win by a landslide here. They're just so powerful. So let's start chain gunning them. Usually the back is a decent camping spot here. Shotgun to finish them off. When you step over this light square on the ground, you will wake up some pinkies and get the BFG. There we go. Also some ammo, very useful. And some health. Alright, next room is through this secret. We are going to wake up a lot of imps and some arachnotrons. Let's let the arachnotrons do their work. Taking lots of damage here. This is not good at all. I'm gonna go for the berserk secret. All right, we made it in alive. Let's hope no imps get trapped in there. Good. Let's clear out some imps. One of the arachnotrons is dead. Let's have check on the other one as well. Oh, they're both dead, actually. That imp's gonna kill the lost soul. Thank you, imp, very nice. And in here is the rocket launcher, so we'll use it to clear these imps. There we go, for refresh on our armor. And he didn't kill the lost soul, interesting. Alright, next room contains a lot of imps and pinkies, so we're just going to fire some rockets.
Luckily, the pinkies usually don't trap you here. This shotgunner is being very obnoxious. There we go. This area is clear. Let's now deal with the pain room. There we go, pain elementals are dead. And once again, they come in pairs. And there's some pinkies in here, but we can just punch them out. Also lost souls, but you know. Ooh, we got bit. Unfortunate. We got bit again. Come here. I'm not done with you. Don't worry about health. We're going to pick up a Megasphere soon. Although we do want a little bit of health. Come on, Lost Souls. Alrighty, let's get the med kit just in case. And let's also go pick up that rat suit now. Also got some health in here. But we don't need it because of the Megasphere. Let's get the chain gun ready. Because there are some shotgunners in here. This is one, two, three secrets. Each step is a secret. And there we go. We're gonna ignore the chainsaw and collect one more rocket. And now let's go for the hit scanner room, which means we're gonna need that partial invisibility that we found in this room back here. Not there. Oh, we forgot this area. Yes, there is a supercharge and a plasma rifle. Let's just get the plasma rifle. All right, and let's collect the partial invisibility and run for the hit scanner room. So the way I usually like to do that is to collect the blue key and go through the secret that it opens. So armor bonuses, we don't need them really. Very easy to die in this room if you're not prepared. Open using open going in this area before clearing out some other areas is suicide. There is a bunch of cells behind this wall. Yellow keys here. There are some pinkies in here. Fire a rocket at them. And just punch the rest out. go. So, we're not going to go through there yet because it's a secret. Let's see. Any hit scanners left? I believe there are some behind this wall. It's just four chain gunners and a bunch of specters. They're just bullet sponges, basically. And another berserk, in case we need it. We don't but it's nice. All right, and there's one more secret right here. It's a soul sphere. Let's collect the mega armor as well, because we are almost done with this level. So when we walk through this way, this, this also requires a blue key to open, by the way. You will see that we are getting the jump on a cyber demon, and we have a BFG and invulnerability, so you know what to do. go he is dead we got more cells and there are imps so let's just shotgun there we go all kills and there's actually one more secret that i seem to have missed let's see where it is oh yes the rockets so in this room here with the rocket launcher also had some rockets you can just lower the platform all right, that's all kills and secrets.
There we go. Here's map 11. Circle of Death, or O of Destruction, depending on your preference. Let's kill the Chain Gunner. And use the Chain Gun. Taking a lot of unfortunate damage here. And that Revenant is actually highly likely to snipe us. some point. All right. All right, guys. Come on. Chill out. Let's kill all the hit scanners. Every last one. Well, we seem to have managed. When did I get so much health? I collected a soul sphere apparently. I don't know when that was. I certainly don't remember it. We're safe here. Except for the imp. Thank you for proving me wrong. And let's kill the zombie men. And here we're introduced to a new enemy in Doom 2. It's the Archfile. In my opinion, one of the most dangerous monsters that Doom has concocted. Maybe number two to the Cyber Demon. All right, but from him we get the blue key and a plasma gun. Very useful items. Let's collect some of these shells that were laid around everywhere. These bullets are good. Whenever you step down the stairs, a lift lowers. And there's a chain gun here. Oh, we already have that. So you can open the wall and reveal a secret. We don't need this invisibility sphere, so we're just going to pretend it's not there. Let's kill this imp up here. Because we are about to go where he's standing in the second secret, which is right here. I'm not sure when this wall opens up, but it does. And you got cells. So now we're looking very good. Let's see, where's the switch? There's a switch over here that will lower the wall or the floor. Let's check on the Revenant. How's he doing? That'll, that'll make our lives easier later. Woo! Whoops. Let's watch ourselves. Get past the Hell Knight. Alright, we're looking good. Now that switch raises a way to the red key, or no, this switch here, this uh, gargoyle switch that you can see in the distance, that gets you to the red key. Also, these specters can't get past this point, so you can just shoot them for free. There we go. More shells, mega armor, and that raises the bridge, but like we said, like I said, we don't need it. We already jumped to the red key. Behind this wall are some chain gunners and a sh or a chain gunners and shotgunners. Also some specters and a helmet. Let's go in here for invulnerability. And we still don't have our rocket launcher yet, but we will get it soon. Don't worry. We can just pretend these lost souls don't exist. And here's the rocket launcher. All 
our invulnerability ran out at the wrong moment there. All right, so let's go back through the red door, make some cool dodges, and kill some lost souls because they're annoying. As I'm sure you are already intimately aware of by now. But it's useful to reiterate. At least it makes me feel better. Now you get into this cramped room with a few caco demons. Very awkward. Most of your plasma hits the de decorations instead of the target. Let's just use the shotgun on these. All right, let's see about the other one. We also have a BFG now. Let's use it. There's an imp up here which is not going to come down with us. So we're going to stay a little bit away from the wall so he doesn't scratch us on the way up. That switch there lowers the other side of this area, right here. And once again, we're going to step away from the wall a little bit. But he wasn't even trying to, so we're good. And our final enemy is this Arachnotron. There we go, all kills and secrets. And that's the end of episode 2 of Doom 2. This is a good episode, a lot of cool maps. Refueling base is especially a highlight, in my opinion. The triple secret of the Megasphere is a bit questionable, though. I'm not sure why that's three secrets, but, you know, I suppose the secret count is pretty high in general anyway. So, what's the difference of three versus one? Otherwise, good episode. Um, I just personally think refueling base is a highlight. So next up is episode 3, and this is the worst episode of the game in my opinion. Lots of city levels, lots of pain, just awful. Big open areas with enemies sniping you from across the map. You'll get to see that in the factory. Although it's not so bad in that level. The level after it is where it really gets to be annoying. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Till then. Could have killed me. I'm probably gonna die here. There's just no way. Yeah. This is the new enemy. And I'm dead. I'm probably gonna die here, huh? Now the Cacodemon will infight the Mancubus. Whoa. That was a short infight. Oh gosh. Are we dead? I think we might be dead. Yeah. Unfortunate. Let's go fight a horde of imps. We would have found a mistake actually. Ooh, grab some health, grab some health. Yep, 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 yep. Grab the rad suit, that would be nice. Press the switch and it will lower these imps. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Here it is.
frankly, I shouldn't shoot rockets when Lost Souls exist. That's seriously bad. This way first. Yes? Yes. No, that was a really high damage roll. Non-berserk punching time, I guess. Now nah, we can just lure him out. Obligatory pain elemental. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 